<clears throat> Hello, people. Here we are um, again on Wind Chaser, um, trying a different aspect of the game. Um, have my Dodge Ram over there, chainsaw. So we're just here cutting down some trees. Um, and uh, I see I have some floating trees, which is fine. Trying a different aspect of this farming. Trying to cut down some logs here. I think some of these logs might. I'm not really sure how this all works. That's in work. <clears throat> I'm not sure how this all works, but I do know that you need to cut wedges.
come on. Here we go. What? That's how you do it. It's a bit crazy, so we'll have gravity. Timber. <laughs> I wonder if we can cut this floating tree. Probably not. Probably cut this one. There goes some geese. This one does not want to. All right, now we gotta cut uh, some branches off.
Bad, not bad. <clears throat> Got uh, some glitchy trees, but that is to be expected. So I purchased um, Purchased a, a trailer to haul my logs. Purchased a uh, like a front end loader attachment. I just hope uh, with the weight on the back of the tractor, it'll be good enough. Busy mowing some grass here with a T8 320. Um, this, is, this is what I was talking about. We were uh, busy windrowing. So I'll we'll just back him up since we're not really. Oop, need that. Not really using him right now. I'm going to put a big weight on the back. And we're gonna go get, um, and then we're gonna bring our Pete, Pete over with the trailer, so we can load directly into, oh yeah, I put the uh, car splines in, so now we have car splines, change the road, change some, uh, textures around here, um, increase the block numbers, or like the, how many, how many, um, uh, things are in each square, block square for some of the, the foliage textures. Um, I only have one lane set up right now. It's just this big loop 
that goes around the lake and, and such. So I'll eventually start uh, adding in more splines. So that's the log trailer we purchased. Yeah, here's parked cars. It's really funny. You have to manually add in all the parked cars. And it's very, like, very touchy. So you can see here I increased the tree leaf particles. So I'm just running a, a mouse and keyboard. I'm sure this would be a lot, uh, a lot funner if you had like a joystick or like a 360 controller or something like that or like a steering wheel like some people do. I haven't really got um, that into, you know, into detail. What I think I'm going to do is because um, um, people really seem to be into the, 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 the videos I'm doing now with uh, my voice. I think I'm going to use um, some uh, money that the videos generate um, and purchase an actual microphone because I'm just using my webcam right now as a microphone. And I'll probably like get a, a new graphics card too because I only have a GTX 460. And if you know anything about graphics card, you'll know that that's not a very, you know, it's a pretty old, um, not a very powerful graphics card. So I think I'll get like a 760 or whatever. I, have, I haven't purchased any hardware in a long time since I built uh, my computer back in 2010. So I'll probably get a new graphics card so I can um, get more high quality videos for you guys uh, probably towards the end of the final oh yeah uh, built this river put in a bridge so that's pretty cool um, what else have I done since uh, added weeds to the map so you there is a bunch of weeds out there and you can spray the weeds so this is what I was talking about I increased the density of the weeds I increased the density of the uh, forest layer um, so this this is pretty much the section of the map that's left it's not very there's not a whole lot going on here um, I need to really start building the town a bit, which is really boring and really has no value in playing, so that's kind of why I've been putting it off. Um, the most recent thing I, I, I've done is built the splines. Um, this is I'm going to be building like a mock up of a Menards, like a lumber yard and stuff like that. Um, have some new timber, discovered some new timber, so building a nice retaining wall there. I'm going to put uh, some shrubs on the perimeter and make it look nice. But this is just a nice big river that we have running from one end of the map. Uh, kind of takes a hairpin turn here and you can see far off in the distance there's another steel girder bridge. Um, nice big soybean field that needs to get cultivated in. Oh, we're over there. So we're up here harvesting some timber up in these woods. Um, one of the many woods available to harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and just gonna harvest these logs. Intact, and hopefully, they will fit.
Nope, that didn't work. Yeah, we'll try this again. I'm gonna trap it. Come here. I think I'd rather just harvest corn. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now we got it. Ugh. Look at that. <coughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Crap. Uh, here we are over at the original farm. Here's the shed. Um, main wind chaser. I have the. Um, these are silos. If you look. Um, if you look right here, um, you have uh, lime and fertilizer that you can load with the shovel. If you have a bucket that's compatible, um, here's my big real tree. I changed some decals on it, T9700. Um, but we want this guy. So we got some bushes out in front of the little house. We got a, a sewer. Pretty modest little house, right? I don't know, I thought it was cool. Um, so, what's new? Oh, I added, uh, I decided to add some grain triggers, nothing fancy. Um, so, in here, you can drive in. I added a scale um, so you know what you're. Um, whatever, but um, I have cows in here um, with triggers and everything. But working, working um, unload, and then here you um, we have fermenting silos. Um, you can see that we have uh, indicators on the side here. So in this silo we have roughly 150,000, um, um, basically 150,000 liters of grass that I just dropped off. I basically just cut grass, gathered it up, dropped it in there, um, and it, it produces silage by the hour. I have it set to, um, um, I think I have it set to 1,000 liters of silage per hour. So that way, um, <clears throat> and then I, I have traditional silos as well with the, the canopy covers on it. Um, if you'd rather uh, let it ferment and do the whole uh, aspect of compacting or like get a silage, silage blade. So it's really like up to you um, how you want to produce your silage. You can um, chop corn. Um, obviously there's those vertical silos, they only have so much capacity of like um, probably like 200,000 or whatever it is, 250,000 that I set it at. Um, so you really have a limit. And then another thing that I, I, um, I've done on this map, I've incorporated the real, real um, animal values from the realistic mod from FarmSim13 is I uh, incorporated that into the map as an extra script so the the animals eat more produce less so um it'll keep you more active um i increased the growth rates um for the fruits on the map so it takes about a week per growth uh stage so a little bit less actually so it'll take you about four to five weeks um i believe 
I think that's what the math came out to. I think it's more like closer to four weeks um, from a, a crop to go from plant to harvest, like final harvest. Withering is turned off. Um, I mean, you have the option to do it on the in game. So I have withering shut off on here, but here's the weeds. So all these vacant fields that have nothing planted, um, they all have weeds on them. So you can't cheat and just plant. Slowly working on adding um, purchasable fields. I go in and I, I um, uh, course play is really cool. It allows you to calculate um, the field perimeter and then it will actually tell you how many uh, hectares it is and then you just convert that to acres then I multiply that acreage by four thousand dollars an acre which is um, pretty much what acreage goes for around um, ideal locations around Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois. Illinois is actually a little bit more expensive because it's, it's quite a bit flatter. Um, so this is just a standard in-game. Hopefully my little New Holland can lift a tree up here. Um, I have my doubts, but hey. If not, I'll just lop off something. really have a crane. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, alright, so I need to Relocate here a little bit. Don't try this at home, kids. So the key for this little maneuver to work is to get a good angle. Yes! Lower this a bit. Try to get this as I wonder if this trailer has a lockout
better get rich from this, I'm telling you. That's gonna have to do. I'm just gonna quit that there because I want to test out my lumber yoke so you guys get a chance to see that. So ideally, um, you'd have better equipment for this, um, but this was relatively inexpensive. It was like a thousand bucks for the front end loader attachment, chainsaw. It was like sixteen grand for the trailer. I'm currently farming two hundred and fifty head of cattle or uh, dairy cows. So I mean, I make plenty. Of money from milk uh, and just cutting grass. So we're gonna buzz on out here. This is um, some of the grass I mowed earlier. Um, some corn there that is ready to be chopped for silage. Uh, up here again, these um, these were borrowed from the uh, South Dakota map. 
uh, fermenting silos. Well, uh, there's deer stand over there, but I made them fermenting silos. They were just silos for grain and stuff. Um, so that's the liquid manure uh, storage, 800,000 liters. Uh, more fermenting grain unload. There's uh, the uh, one of the corn headers there. So this was the um, second uh, uh, wind chaser farm. It was just a small dairy farm. Um, which is still in operation. As you can see, they're milking cows in the, uh, in the parlor there. Well, good thing I lopped off the end of that uh, log. And if you take this uh, dump road here on the right, it will bring you uh, to some more fields, some more cell points. Um, there's going to be more uh, forest to harvest trees. Um, ideally, you would have one of those big, massive um, scorpion things that would just take the tree down, uh, lop off all the... Uh, branches and then you'd have a big front end loader some guy or uh, a big front end loader manually like going and picking those up and dropping them off in the, in the semi um, but you need uh, some help for that so I think we'll take a, a little scenic out here show you guys uh, the lake and such so this is my first time playing around with uh, the logs um, ever and uh, of course on this map I had the tracks set so they stay twice as long which is really cool but I'm glad I'm really happy with like the end game I mean I shouldn't say I'm happy but as compared to 13 it's so much better logs and uh, bales. Even how the handling, it's nice, uh, the suspension feels like there's actually like dampering and springs um, that doesn't like jump, you know, a 16 ton machine doesn't, you know, get skyrocketed in the middle of the, you know, into the air. So this is all weeds here. big field uh, show you guys some of the lake houses that I've been working on once we the irony hauling logs and hit, hit a tree that's why you shouldn't talk in the I wonder how much we'll get for one walk. Or one tree. How much is one tree worth? All that time and effort and equipment. I mean, granted, the more I do it, the better I'll get at it. Um, so here's the landscape facilities. Nice, uh, freshly, nice lush green grass. Lake Country. That's actually a real, real place that I worked at in high school. It's a landscaping, excavating, a nursery. They have trees and flowers. And they do landscaping, irrigation. They put in uh, sod. They do a lot of hardscaping. Um, so here we are coming up on the uh, lumber mill that I just finished. 
bunch of steam coming, a lot of smoke. Got the train yard with the train ready to go. Cars coming all over, so. Time to prop this engine. So, how much money? 158. Got the scale there. This is not let me sell my logs. I don't know how this works. Do I have to unload it here? Probably have to get my tractor and unload the logs manually. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that, I'm going to make that cell trigger bigger. I think you guys like my idea. Yeah. Take it. Oh.
Yes! Alright, so that was like six grand. So that's probably worth it. And then, uh, rumor on the street is if I do this. So we're at 164. Here goes the train. I think I was flying. So I extended that trigger uh, a ways. So let's see. What were, what were we at? 158? So probably like 6,500 just on one tree. Yeah, you have <laughs> So it's pretty much well worth it to, you know, what was that, 20, 20 grand? No, 10 grand. Almost from one tree, in you know probably like 20 minutes worth of you know if I didn't cut all those trees down. So I mean you could easily make 100, 200, you know, thousand. So I think logging is pretty profitable. With one tree, I paid for all my equipment. Um. So yeah, you guys are going to have to uh, let me know what you think of the lumber yard. Um, what do you think that needs to be improved? Any suggestions? Uh, so we'll just buzz on back to the... Farm quick. So there's another staging for liquid manure because you you go through that stuff like it's nobody's business. I mean, 800 800,000 liters will go by fast. I mean, you can burn up 200,000 in 10 minutes. You know, and only do. Only cover probably like uh, three or four hectares, maybe even less. So I'm pretty happy that I got the splines to work. I mean, it's a European trailer, but I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go ahead and that's all she wrote. Yeah.